I absolutely, absolutely want to try out is YouTube Shorts. Hello and welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Ira if you're new and in today's video I'm going to be sharing some YouTube features that you need to start using whether you're a new YouTuber or you've been on YouTube for a while and you're looking for ways to improve upon your channel. These features can help with your channel SEO, it can help to make your um, videos more discoverable and also help with making your channel look uh, more organized and appealing to new viewers and even help you to remind viewers to subscribe to your channel. So let's just start. As a new YouTuber, I find these features extremely helpful and I've been using every single one of them in all of my videos and I think some of them have been working quite well for me. So I'm putting this out there in case you find one or two features that you've not been utilizing that could actually help to grow your channel. The very first feature is keywords. Now this is one feature that I found extremely useful when I discovered it. The section where you can fill in words or keywords you want your channel to be known for, that you want your videos to rank for. So if people are searching for videos with words related to whatever you put in your keyword section or the keywords themselves it will help to increase your chances of your videos um, ranking and coming up in those searches so you can find this feature in your YouTube studio under the settings option under the basic info you find the keyword section there and this is where you fill the keywords that you want your channel to be known for so for example um, for a channel like mine I can fill it with um, modest fashion or skincare reviews skincare or things like that words that you know that people can actually search for and your videos can pop up in the searches so i find this feature extremely useful and i think it's a settings that every channel especially if you're a new youtuber you should customize it for your channel the next feature is eligible features and this can also be found under the settings option in your youtube studio so there are two types of eligible features that you can enable for your channel one is automatically enabled once you create a youtube channel and you don't violate any um youtube rules and regulations so this a particular feature allows you to upload videos to create and edit playlists i think that's basically all it allows you to do that is automatically enabled when you create your channel but the feature that you want to make sure that you enable is the second feature and this is the feature that requires you to verify your youtube channel via your phone number i think it's a great idea to actually enable this feature because it gives you many more options like being able to upload custom thumbnails which is a very very important thing that you need to consider for every single one of your videos you should always upload custom thumbnails for your videos it allows you to upload videos longer than 15 minutes it also allows you to appear for copyright claims now copyright claims are basically when maybe you use a particular audio in your video and it got claimed so if you have this feature enabled you can actually make an appeal to those um, to those copyright claims and you can get them resolved one other thing allows you to do is to live stream if you have a sizable audience already it's a great idea to live stream once in a while so that this can contribute to your watch hours and get you to your 4,000 watch mark faster. Before I move on to the next feature, please hit the like button. Make sure to subscribe to my channel for more content. Click the alarm bell so that you get notified when I upload new content. Now I'm going to give you a little pause for you to actually do that. So hit that button right now. Next up is upload defaults. This is also a feature that you can find under the settings in your YouTube studio. It's basically a feature that allows you to add details that you want to be added automatically to every single video. So for example, you want to always include like an about me section. You always want to include your um, social media links and email that people can reach you on. Things like that that are going to appear for every single video. You can use this feature to actually set it so you don't have to manually input it every single time you upload a video. You can find this feature on under the basic info tab filling defaults that you want for your title for your description and maybe even tags if you want to have, always have a particular set of tags for each and every single video so i find this um, feature extremely useful and i think it's a great feature to actually enable for your channel then another thing to consider is the youtube license and you can find this under the advanced tab now there are two types of youtube license the standard youtube license and one other one so most youtube creators actually use the standard youtube license because this is the one that protects um, kind of protect your content from being um, reused without permission. And I think it's an option that you should confirm so to make sure that it is actually set to standard YouTube license and your videos are 
protected another thing you want to also check under this section is the category of your video so you can set a default category for your videos most of the popular categories are um, entertainment how to and style and maybe even education if your content revolves around these categories you should make sure to um, set a default for them you can always change this category for a particular video but it's a nice idea to actually set a particular category um, around your channel now these next features are like my absolute favorite cards and the end screens so you might have noticed in some videos that something just pops up right here these are called cards and you can add them to your videos either during upload or edit your video later to include it I find this feature extremely useful because it helps to suggest more of your content to viewers so if people are currently enjoying a particular video on your channel you can use these cards to suggest um, similar content or related content to them and they can always click on it so it helps to keep um, your viewers occupied and engaged it helps to get them to watch more of your content and this basically means more screen time more watch time you can also use it to suggest playlists you can use it to suggest videos not necessarily your own then you can also use it to suggest channels that you want them to either follow or maybe even your own channel that you want to remind them to click on as for end screens you might have noticed in some videos if you get to the ending part of the video you might have noticed that it has like a circle where you have like the channel's profile picture and then you have like suggested content maybe it's in a video or a playlist you can use the end screens to do this this is one of my favorite features to use and you can add these end screens also either during upload or you edit your videos later to include it so basically if viewers actually manage to get to the end of your video end screens can help to remind them to subscribe to your channel if they've not already done so to suggest more content that are related to the one they currently watch that they might be interested in or maybe playlists that you want them to go through basically helps to keep um, your viewers engaged and also get them to watch more of your content again more watch time another feature you absolutely absolutely want to try out is YouTube shorts so you might have noticed some short videos recommended to you on your own page and the section is titled short videos basically YouTube shorts are videos that are less than one minute that you upload to your channel and if it gets recommended by YouTube as a short it usually gets quite a number of views so shorts are technically like TikTok videos or Instagram reels but for YouTube although this feature is currently being tested and made available in like India or something you can still upload a short to your channel all you simply have to do is upload a video that is less than one minute and add the hashtag shorts to your video title and also maybe even your video description one advantage of using YouTube shorts is that you are actually trying out more of um, YouTube's new and like um, experimental features and this might be able to get some of your content recommended one thing you need to note about shorts is that um, the watch time from people actually viewing your shots via the short section does not actually count towards the watch time requirement for monetization however if these viewers check um, your shots directly from your channel and not via the um, recommended short video section then these watch times are valid towards your monetization criteria so that's what I like most about this feature it helps to expose your contents to new audience and if these viewers click on your channel to watch more of your content you could get new subscribers and more watch time currently I have about four shots uploaded to my channel you can check them out and some of them gathered like some pretty decent views so yeah I think it's a nice feature to try out one last feature that i think it's a great idea to always utilize is the youtube video editor although it does not have a lot of features you can use it to do things like trim your videos maybe there was a mistake somewhere during editing and you want to trim that part out it can also be used to blow part of your videos that you might have missed out during editing and you don't want it to show so you can use it to um, blow out some parts of your videos to add um, free music from the YouTube library This comes in very handy if you get like a copyright claim on a particular audio in your video You can use the um, video editor to mute that part of the video then add um, free music from the YouTube library or basically if you just want to add a background music to your video You can also um, use the video editor. So that's the bulk of it. I hope you found this video helpful um, these features are extremely useful and they can actually help you improve your channel or improve um, your videos So thank you for watching this video Don't forget to hit the like button Make sure to subscribe to my channel and also click on the alarm bell so you get notification for whenever I upload a new video So yeah, that's it um, Stay safe and I'll see you in the next video Bye